Because they are so fucking drunk, they don't know what they do. Sometimes they're pissing in front of the street, you see them digs, they show the digs. That sounds crazy! Hamburg is fucking crazy. <laughs> De gemeente Amsterdam wil 100 ramen op de wallen sluiten en verplaatsen naar één groot erotisch centrum aan de rand van de stad. Een soort sekshotel, geïnspireerd op de laufhausen die je in Duitsland hebt. Maar past zo'n concept in Amsterdam? En hoe ziet dit alternatief eruit? Om daarachter te komen ga ik naar de Pink Palace, dat met 58 kamers het grootste sekshotel van Hamburg is. Manager Thorsten leidt me graag rond. Sekswerkers huren bij hem een kamer om klanten te ontvangen. De klanten betalen verder rechtstreeks aan de sekswerker. Vandaag is het rustig en zijn er zo'n 50 kamers bezet. Dit is de biggest room van het huis. De biggest room? Ja. Yeah, yeah. Zo. So. Wauw, dat is really big. Het is zo cozy. En is dit altijd voor dezelfde persoon? Is this this rent one woman here? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. For how long? Uh, she's long time here. For she's years. Long, yeah, she's long time here. Ah, okay. Yeah. And look, the dog has a sofa. <laughs> That's really cute. A lot of things are private here. Yeah. yeah. You see, uh, if you have condoms, sterilium. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oil and the alarm button is on a on a bed. You have an alarm button. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look there. Oh, and what happens if I press you, it? You can put 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 one. Can button. I press yeah, it? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Let. <laughs> oh, that sounds really creepy. Uh, yeah. Is it used a lot, the alarm button? Yeah, yeah. We, we you need it. On the weekend, maybe one or two times, the alarm button. A lot of it's a mistake. Yeah. And when you do have problems, what kind we call, of... We call the police. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I come in, something, for example, I'm not a reverie, I'm not sure if she isn't right or he isn't right. There is a problem, I talk with the police, I call the police and talk with the police this one. Is there also a lot of social security here because all the people, all the girls are sitting on the no, hallway? No, uh, we can go there. Yeah. It's, uh, for example, something the girl is sitting there, and something, yeah. for example, yeah, she making the camera, yeah. and we know oh, it's something. Oh, you have the a camera lot of cameras. There, there, yeah. And you have a camera in the room? No, no, it's not a lot, please. Okay. Oh, it's because of the price. Yeah, yeah, please. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And this is something, is something, for example, a client talked bad words to a woman, yeah. yeah. she make this, and we come, hey, what's happened here? Okay. Yeah. And so, so on. I see. I talk to a client, please go. Yeah. And then you Germany throw is big. him out. Yeah, I should, please, Germany is big, you can go another place. <laughs> Great, okay. Yeah. Straks kom ik erachter hoe het is voor de sekswerkers om in een laufhouse te werken. Okay, we maar eerst ga ik het centrum van Hamburg in. Want een andere reden voor de bouw van een groot erotisch centrum in Amsterdam is dat ze de druk op de wallen willen verminderen. Die barst op de piekmomenten uit ze voegen door alle toeristen die dan hopelijk beter verspreid worden over de stad. Ook Hamburg heeft een toeristisch red light district rondom de beroemde Reeperbaan. Van exclusieve clubs tot intieme bordelen en zelfs een ouderwetse tippelzone. Voor ieder wat wils. Sekswerker Cheeky Kate heeft ervaring met al deze vormen van sekswerk. Raamwerk, tippelzone en laufhouse. We gaan nu naar een tippelzone. Dus dat is waar je als sekswerker op straat je klanten werft. In Nederland heb je die bijna niet meer. Ik ken ze ook echt alleen uit films. Maar hier in Hamburg heb je ze nog volop. En dat is waar Kate werkt. Dus you work somewhere here, right? Yes, directly here in the place where we are walking. This is also a place for me to work in at night. Aha, so this is all the street working zone. Yes, Where does it begin? Where does it end? It's beginning directly when you go in the street straight on. Yes. It starts there, it is there, it is there. It's directly and around, around this corner here. And how does this look at night, in, in the weekends? Oh, so much more people than now. Definitely so much more. You have in the summertime, the banks are standing outside, where the people are sitting outside and drinking. Little banks? Yeah, ah. the music is very loud. So the people standing here and dancing. Also, they dance dancing with us when we're working here. So because really? they think it's funny, they say, yeah, hey, come, let's dance. Do you have a lot of tourists? Of course, a lot of tourists yeah. from every, every country. Is it mostly tourists that visit yes. here? Yes, yeah. 
And what do you think of the tourists? I like the tourists because they have so many different stories to talk about us. There are so many differences from country to Germany. Maybe it's from England, it's forbidden the prostitution. So when they come here, it's for them. Oh my God, what's going on here? So yeah. many beautiful women standing outside. And it's nice to hear that, how it's work in the other country. It's nice. But isn't it annoying sometimes? Because in Amsterdam you have a lot of tourists that drink a lot and they party and they maybe get a bit annoying. No, it's very crazy because they are so fucking drunk. They don't know what they do. Sometimes they're pissing in front of the street. You see them dicks, they show the dicks. <laughs> well, it sounds crazy. Hamburg is fucking crazy. There's a lot <laughs> happening. I, I, but can you still work and, and get customers when there's a lot going on? Because you look which kind is the best customer for you and then you go to them and then you talk with them and then you're feeling in the first moments when you talk with the guests. You, you can you feel it also in the clothes. This. You see what kind of clothes yeah. you're taking on, you know, oh, okay, it can be good upstairs or not. So like hygienic and yeah. not too drunk? Oh, of course not too drunk because it's not working upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> upstairs, where, where do you take them when uh, you We have directly choose? in front of the corner, it's one minute from here, we have our own house. We have our own rooms, there we go with the clients upstairs. Is it like a love house? No, it's so much beautiful, I think. I don't like the love house because for me it's too boring. You're just sitting there on the chair and looking in the wall. And when no client is coming, you just like a soldier. Yeah, how many clients do you like take into the hotel? Oh, it's so much different. Sometimes you have five clients, sometimes you have one client, they really? stay the whole night. One? Oh, I well, have that's also, a good client I, then. Also, I have also a client who takes me from the weekend, just go outside and drunk with me. He likes when and I'm drunk. And he pays for that. He pays for the drinks and for the time. <laughs> so that, is that the best kind of it's client? It's perfect, it's, it's, it's better. <laughs> you make party and you got paid for that. Wow, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. Because here in Hamburg you have street sex work, yes. you have a love house, but you yes. can also work behind a window of course. on the Herbertstrasse. That's true. Why do you have so many different kinds of sex work? I didn't know because it's normal here in Hamburg. We, I, we can't miss it here, I think. Also the street workers. When we don't work in here down on the street and the people on the tourist comes here, they will miss something. I'm happy for that because yeah. some, every, every woman has a, a favorite place. I like it to work on the street. I don't like it to be in the Herbert Street because it's also sitting and waiting. I yeah. don't like to have in the running house. And we have women, they love it to working in the running house. And we have women, they love it to be in the Herbert Street. Straks bezoek ik met Cheeky Kate die beroemde Herbertstrasse. Nu eerst terug naar het sekshotel. Are you sure nobody is fucking? No, it's free. Okay. <laughs> so so oh, this, yeah. this is a normal room. This is a lot smaller. Yeah. But you. Since all the rooms is the same. This is like yeah, a this normal is only room. the one room is the biggest room, yeah, and this is a normal room here. This is a normal room. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Alarm button is there. This is a lamp, not the alarm. Alarm button, alarm button not the light. Um. And the cash box for the girls. Look, there's one there. So this is where you put the cash. So it's the girls, I'm not the girls. Yes. So how many people visit this whole place? In a day. Yeah, we have on the weekend, yeah, for example, Friday night, mm -hmm. 1,500 or around 2,000 persons was going all of the 24 hours around in the house. 2,000 yeah, people no, not, in not one day? In one day, yeah. uh, in a weekend, yeah. Under the week, maybe 800 persons, 500 persons, yeah. So how many tourists visit here? Uh, I think 70, 80 percent is tourists. 80 percent. But in Amsterdam, when, when like people are really drunk, they can get really annoyed. Uh, I see in the camera, uh, the man is coming, for example, this inside. Yeah. As a, Please, you come tomorrow. Yeah, not today. Yeah. So when they're too friendly, drunk, yeah. you don't Yeah, 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 yeah. It's too drunk and it's not. Ah. But a normal drunk is okay. Because there is no window in this door. No, 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 no. The gods, uh, you can, you can uh, stay on the bed. Yeah. yeah. Uh, money, she make only, uh, she sit outside. Right here, the client is coming, yeah, and she's the... When you're a woman, can you go in? A girl? No, no, it's not allowed. So you only let no, in? Only men, yeah. Men. Only for you, yeah. I let open the house, yeah. yeah. So the problem is uh, a man, for example, yeah, uh, you work here and your neighbor is coming. Yeah. The neighbor shuts the mouth, you understand? Yeah. And the girl is coming from your neighborhood, so you... <gasps> She go out and talk how she works in there. You understand? What do you mean? They yeah. gossip more. You, you understand what I mean? Oh, this okay. is, yeah. so the clients is quiet. For yeah. their privacy. Yeah. Private, yeah. And a, a, a woman, yeah, oh, I've seen this girl. Yeah, yeah, please. Well, I thought when you have a sex hotel that people purely go in to get sex. Yeah, or watching, yeah. But it's still yeah, a really if, big if, tourist if, attraction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is too, yeah. Oh. A lot of clients 
Yeah, sure, going with a girl. Yeah, a lot is only watching. Yeah, it's, mm. it's, if you come to Hamburg, you come yeah. here in the same from Amsterdam. Mm. You go in Amsterdam, yeah. you go in a red light and watching. Yeah, just to walk around. Yeah, and yeah, see watching. And yeah. Ah, okay. So it doesn't make a difference whether it's inside no, or outside. No, 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 no. It's party. It's party. It's party. You call it party? <laughs> party muffin. Party muffin. <laughs> <laughs> Nou, op zich een prima kamertje volgens mij, zoals je die in Amsterdam ook heel veel hebt. En uh, ik moet alleen nog heel erg wennen aan de sfeer die zo anders is omdat je geen ramen hebt. Ik had echt niet verwacht dat je voor de deur zou zitten. Dus ik ben nog niet helemaal erover uit hoe dat voelt en of dat wel even veilig is. Maar verder ja, niks op aan te merken. Ik heb twee meiden gevonden die op camera een paar vragen willen beantwoorden. Helemaal anoniem. Hi, I'm Rose. Thank you that I can ask some questions. How has the day been going? Is it busy? Mm, not that much. No. Weird. And it gets really busy in the weekends? Yeah. And what do you like better, a tourist or a local visitor? Tourist visitor. Yes? Why do you say that? Because uh, they are more nicely and... Take really? I didn't expect that. I thought the tourists, they get drunk and they can get annoying. Sometimes it depends. Because we don't work with everybody. Yeah, you can choose what to bring home. Do you feel safe sitting outside here? Yeah, because nobody can touch us, nobody are allowed to do something. Because they aren't allowed doesn't mean they don't do it, right? Yeah, they are not allowed. They just keep a distance and look at us. And even if they do it, you just call the security and they come with you. Hmm. So you don't have a lot of problems here? Yeah, because they know about security and they know we are protected here. It's good to know that I have security yeah. and stuff here. Yeah. Do you refuse a lot of people? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah? What, what is the percentage of people you don't let in and people... You do. <laughs> no, you, 90%? Yeah. You refuse 90%? Yeah, because it's like uh, what we talked about uh, before when it's a um, tourist. Mm -hmm. It's people who are very respectful and yeah. they stand up right now and they don't need to work anymore. So you look for the clients who are respectful and they want like a long stay. Yeah. That's smart. Would you want to work behind the windows as in the Herbertstrasse? No. No? No, because there the people can record you, the people can the pictures and the discussion because I have been in Amsterdam. Yes. And I saw this kind of place. And it's very really nice here it's impossible to come with a phone. And why is it so important that no because videos are taken? I have so many other friends. It's not good to know my family, what I'm doing, my friends, because some people, they have, they think something else when you do this to work. Yeah. They are not that open mind. So for you, this place is more private than working behind the windows? Yeah. Definitely. So you say it's kind of different work to work here or behind a window, it's like... I think so. Do you think it's important to be able to choose where you work? Yes, of course. Okay, well thank you so much. Zo, so, ik ben wel heel blij dat ik nog even tweede meiden heb mogen spreken. En ik heb er ook wel een goed gevoel bij, want ze geven aan dat het voor hun de meest zelfstandige manier van werken is. Dat er hier ook heel veel sociale controle is. Dat er zo beveiliging bij is. En het is dus eigenlijk een hele anonieme manier van werken. Omdat hier veel minder foto's en video's worden gemaakt. Ah, hier you have all the cameras. Yeah, this is a is there always control surveillance? room, yeah. All for the floors, yeah. So somebody is always watching this? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay. There's a for the alarm, yeah. It's a, go put the alarm button, yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it lights it's, up. It's a light, yeah. Ah. And one ring, burp, yeah, it's an alarm. So when you hear burp, you burp, I run. <laughs> It's nice they can be really social together and hang out. It's a, big, a lot. it's a big, big family. I have a lot of girls 
it's all the day here. Every day is coming, yeah. Oh, yeah. And oh, a lot of girls with a friend is coming, yeah. girlfriend, yeah. Oh, really? Just like a friend? Yeah, friends, in. yeah. Yes, ah, yes, yes, yes. okay. So that's really different than, than I know in Amsterdam. It's more yeah, this, cozy this, and social. This is what is more yeah. big family. Wat een space. Ik moet nog even bijkomen van die vijf verdiepingen, roze disco lampen en hitte. Maar ik moet zeggen, qua werkplek voelde dit sekshotel gewoon als een, ja, als een goede plek. Veilig, veel sociale controle en ook wat die dames aangaven. Je kan gewoon de deur dichtgooien en er is zo iemand bij je. Dus ik zie dit op zich wel voor me in Amsterdam. Alleen ik schrok wel heel erg van dat hier gewoon 2000 bezoekers kunnen komen in een weekend. Dus ik dacht als je seks wil ga je naar zo'n hotel. Maar het is ook gewoon een mega grote toeristische trekpleister. Ja dat is wel even wat anders. Met sekswerker Kate bezoek ik de laatste vorm van sekswerk in Hamburg die ik nog niet heb gezien. De ramen in de Herbertstrasse. Alleen echt te zien krijg ik ze helaas niet. This is the popular as Herbert Street. This is it. This is it. This is the love place in Hamburg. But how do you get in? You have entries on the left side and on the right side. Okay, so it's always It's always closed. like this. Yeah, that's true. And I cannot enter, right? No. Because Just I'm when a... you want to work there. <laughs> that's right. That's right. But yeah. not as a visitor. No, because a woman want to, want to work with men. So of course it's not nice when you're standing there in the bikini yeah. and the woman standing in front of your window. Yeah, so oh. they just want uh, clients. Actually. Yeah, it's stress. It's stress when the women are going on our nerves. And this is this is the only street here in Hamburg yes. that has like window sex work, yeah. as we have in Amsterdam. That's true. But how is this different than the street working zone that you work on? It's so much different because when you go there inside, it's like the heaven. Every moment with so many beautiful dessus and really nice voice and very friendly. And we are outside. Uh, outside, we are like straight. You know. No, oh, let's come on, let's go. Okay. And they are like heaven, this is the heaven. Do you think it's very different to work here over the street working in the Love House? I think every place is some, something different, of course. Yeah. In the street workers, you can talk with the guests, you can run in behind the guests. In the running house, you have the guest that comes inside and choose you. Oh, yeah. Here also, you have the, 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 the decision to talk with the guests at the window, but you have a small place because you have just your window. So yeah. we have so many different things. So when you work but you here, do all the same job. <laughs> yeah, it's inside it's the same. Inside it's the same. Yeah. It's just looking from outside different, but inside it's the same. And have you also worked on this street? Yes, of course. Yes? Yeah, well, one time. When uh, it's a uh, Schlager move, then it's so much people outside, so it's not, mm. a, it's not working when you're standing here. And then I go there inside, but it's not. I like it, of course, but I love it to work outside. Yeah. Yes, I like to move it. Make some jokes. You don't jokes. want to sit on the same Yeah, I, lo I like to day. make some jokes and yes. be funny and okay. talking <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. Really? So you can mingle along with the tourists. Of course, yeah. Yeah. And do you feel safe working on the street? Definitely safe, of course. We have so yeah. many security guards from the clubs. They're looking at us. We're looking at each other. They're looking other. at you on the street. Yeah, we are the big family on St. Pauli. We are small women, but we can also, uh, I don't know what's the English word. Um, we have hair on the teeth. We have hairs on the teeth. Yes. You know? So we're working on the street. We know, we know how is the street life. <laughs> yeah. So you're actually really great at... Of course, we, we, we look at each other and yeah. this is the one thing. We are a big family. When one woman has stress, everybody's standing behind of her and give her a, a strong back. Hmm. So nobody's alone here. So in Amsterdam, they want to uh, build something like a love house and then remove 100 places from the window and the people to there. Do you think you can just easily do that? I think it will be not nice for the women they are working there because they also live with the people, with the tourists. And you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's important for the red light. It's, it's normal there, you know. And yeah. when you put them outside, you kick them out. You kick them out from the city. I think it's not nice for the women because they live from the money from the tourists. Yeah. And rich tourists want to go outside from the party place to go to a prostitute. Normally, it's better for them when you took all in one. Mm. You know, you put birds inside the cage. Of course, for you it feels like yes. That. No, no bird is happy with the, with a small cage. Yeah, and I'm happy that every woman can make your own decision. Well, thank you so much I thank for you. the tour today. Thank you to be here. I learned a lot. And then you have to change, right? Yes, Because you're going to work tonight. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Have a nice day. You too. Thank you. <laughs> Is het nou wel of geen goed idee? Een mega erotisch centrum in Amsterdam. Meer veiligheid is in ieder geval geen argument. 
Daar hebben sekswerker Celeste, expert Karin en raamverhuurder Pim me wel van overtuigd. Men zegt er zijn te veel toeristen in Amsterdam, in het centrum. Er moet iets gebeuren, dus we doen maar iets om het te doen. Ja, dat, 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 dit is gewoon een heel dom plan op deze manier. Die veiligheid op de wallen is al goed geregeld. Dan het andere argument, het verspreiden van toerisme. Het sekshotel in Hamburg is in ieder geval één grote toeristische attractie. Of het fijner is daar te werken is een tweede, maar daarover kunnen sekswerkers in Hamburg in ieder geval zelf kiezen. No, no bird is happy with a, with a small cage. Ja, yeah, and I'm happy that every woman can make your own decision. En ik denk dat dat het belangrijkste is. Niet of een erotisch centrum of de wallen, maar de vrijheid om zelf te kiezen waar en wat voor een werk je wil doen.